Happy Mother's Day! We are here today. We're so excited to share a crock pot meal with you. The lasagna in the crock pot. It's amazing. And Shane is going to be teaching us how to do eggs benedict, which I'm really excited about because I've never really made that. I did once. I did one time when I was in a college cooking class and it's kind of embarrassing because I don't know how to cook it. But this menu that he's putting together for us tonight is going to be amazing. But first we're going to pleasure you with a live song that Shane's going to sing for us. Hi April. Hi Sharon. Thanks for joining. All right. So here we go. That's like a really special song in our family. Yeah. Like, can I tell the story? Yes. Do we have time to tell the story? story? Tell the story. So uh, when we were little, little kids, um, that's probably gross. Uh, my my mom, my mom, single parent, right? Um, but we had those talk boys. You know, talk boy. Uh, you know, you record and all that stuff. And uh, my sister, of course, my sister's idea because she's the oldest and wisest. She's like, let's make mom a tape and stick it in her car so when she goes to work in the morning. Oh. It'll just come on, yeah. and so we were like, Happy Mother's Day from Leslie, Shane, Sean, you know, and then we had that song playing right afterwards, and she's like, she called us later, and she's like, I had to redo my makeup. Oh. Yeah, but it Those was Those are the gifts that mean the most as yeah. a mom, I think, totally. where, like, putting your heart out there and... Cooking and singing, I think those are, and writing notes, those are all winners in my book. Absolutely. So... Absolutely. Thank you for singing. <laughs> yeah, that sorry, was so I was a little, a little nervous. So if you guys liked that singing, thank you for being with us today. And I think you should all give Shane some some love and some hearts because I think we should have him sing every time. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hi, Belinda. Belinda says it won't play. Oh, I hope it worked out okay. Maybe we'll have him sing it again at the end. Maybe. Because, you know, why not have him sing again? So thank you for coming today with us. This is the Horror Locker and Walker cooking show. This is our first time on Spaceships and Laser Beams. Yeah, we are so thanks for excited having us. to be here. And we will be doing two. Oh, look at all these hearts. They want to have you sing, sing again. It again. We we'll have him sing it again at the end. Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, I'll do it again. Okay. So today we're going to be sharing two different recipes. And each time that we do a live cooking show, we want to offer a couple of different options. The first being something that's easy, a go-to meal that you can do on a weeknight or something that you can prepare ahead of time. That's much more akin to my lifestyle as a mom of four. And so I'm a big fan of like preparing ahead, having crock pot meals, that kind of thing. And then Shane is more of our expert foodie. Let's oh just say it how it my. is. And he oh teaches my. me the way. <laughs> I'm learning right along with you if, the, if you're learning about it for the first time. But you know what? We just love the community here. And thank you so much, everyone, for joining because we love your comments. We love to hear everything that you have to say. And I love that uh, we just get to have you guys here hanging out with us. So... All right, so first I'm gonna get started and I'm going to be sharing with you a lasagna crock pot meal. So this is one of our favorite go-to meals for easy on the go, and it actually happens to be one of my husband's favorite meals that I make. And it's super simple because everyone loves lasagna and it is in the crock pot, so it's awesome. You don't have to worry about pre-cooking the, the noodles or any of that. So this is a fun way to prepare lasagna and I'm getting a lot of yay it's really good so if you I'm gonna be going step by step through this recipe but if you want to see the written out instructions and all the ingredients you will need there is a link in the description you can go right to hey Jordan you can go right to the recipe 
on our blog too. So you can check that out and get the exact instructions and ingredients that you need. So now that we have some people that have joined, please say hi. We wanna hear where you're all here from today. And thank you for the hearts and the love. We just are so, it's just fun to be here with you guys. So tell us where you're checking in from and we will get started. So I don't know if uh, any of you missed Shane singing, but he sang a beautiful song for his mom that he did um, once when he was a kid. And I just think that is so cute. I love it when my kids sing for me, which it happens to be a good time. Okay, so um, starting with down the road. Oh, Tennessee, hi Angela, Blaze. Nope, it won't play. I wonder if we're having technical difficulties. Are we? Okay, let me just pull it up. <clears throat> Florida, woo woo, hey April. I was just watching you do yours, so good. Okay, so some people are saying it's playing. Let us know if you can see us. Some people are saying that they're having some difficulty seeing us or that it won't play. So I'm not sure what's going on, but we're seeing a lot of hearts and likes, so thank you. So some people can see. I'm not sure what what's going on, so. Yeah, are we connected to Wi-Fi? Uh, no. No? I turned it off. Okay. Yeah, so we should be good. I can see you fine. Tell folks to X out and come back if they're having problems. Oh, okay, so if you're having problems with it not playing well, thank you, April, you can actually just tap out of it and then come back in and the connection should work better for you. Okay. I just Natasha's did it saying and it's it working worked. Great. Oh, good. I just did it and that worked. Well, thank you, April. I'm, that's good to know because I didn't know that little tip. I can see you on Facebook and Instagram just fine. Oh, yay. So we have um, people on Instagram tuning in too, yeah. which is fun. So we're on My Mommy Style on Instagram as well. Hello, everyone on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, and Georgina says, I am fine. Okay, perfect. So to start with this Crock-Pot lasagna, first, Jane, how are you doing? Good. I'm doing super good. I'm super excited yeah. that we're doing lasagna and eggs Benny. It's gonna be super Egg delicious. Benny and crock pot lasagna, yeah. which we love. Do you want so, me to be cutting Show me if onion? you love lasagna. I know you Yeah, like so last week we talked about cutting onions and everyone was giving us opinions of what they thought was the best way to cut onions. And I think the consensus was water. Underwater. Water, where's your bit here and good knife? Um, uh, yeah, so we asked everybody what was their way to cut an onion, and we got tons of advice, and the, the consensus was to like cut it in half, and then um, run it under cold water. Okay, so I'm a baby, and I always cry when I cut an onion, like tears, buckets of tears. In fact, I'm probably not very safe with a knife in my hand <laughs> at that point, because I can't see anything. And I avoid cooking with onions sometimes because they just make me cry so much. So that was an awesome tip. Yeah. But for Locker says he will cut the onion, so I'm taking him up on it. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, Locker. Uh-oh. Dog's getting angry. Okay, so I love to cook this crockpot lasagna with extra lean ground turkey. You can make it with beef or any uh, ground meat that you prefer. You could do chicken if you want to do ground chicken. That's fine, too. Okay, so Janelle, if the feed isn't working, you're gonna to wanna to exit out and then open the window up again and it should be working for you. Oh, but they wouldn't be able to hear that, would they? Right. Should I comment that? Yeah, again? that would okay. be good. Yeah, comment that, because some people, I guess, I don't know what the connection is doing, but. Okay, so we are going to be cooking with extra lean ground turkey. That just happens to be my favorite. So when you're cooking this, I like to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It's not necessary. It's kind of an option because there's a little bit of moisture in there, but because extra, uh, because the lean turkey doesn't have a lot of fat in it, it can be a little dry. So you can add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to moisten it up a little bit. So we're going to be doing that. We'll add the chopped onion, just one small to medium sized onion, and then we're gonna be browning that over the stove first. So as we're cutting that, hi Bobby, hi Darlene. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting that in. Are you good with chopping? Yeah, I'm okay. just, uh, I didn't know how you wanted Why don't you talk to them while I'm uh, uh, So I have to say that this is definitely a lot, there's like, there's way less odor, there's no, I'm not crying over here. 
So the getting your getting your onion wet is definitely where it's at. Um, so, hey, did you do a shout out from where people are from? I think since we've been having trouble, if you're tuning in, tell us where you're coming in from. Um, tell us tell us where you're at. I saw, what was it, Tennessee earlier? We had a, let's, I wanna see who the farthest away is. So what do you got? Let me see them. Yeah, last time we had someone tuning in from Australia, which was amazing. Oh, yeah. I wanna go to Australia so bad. So we just have the meat starting to cook right now. We are making crock pot lasagna. So you crock pot lovers. Maria says, hi Shane, we found you. It's th it's the third week watching. Oh, cool. Hey, thanks week. for coming Thank back, you. third weekers. This is our third week, so Maria. Yeah, you're... Maryland, Angela, Pennsylvania, Kansas, Cincinnati, Ohio. Hi Tracy. Oh, hey. Tracy's watched before. Really? I think so too. Yeah. That's so familiar. Windsor, North Carolina, Michelle. My family likes it made with Italian sausage. That is oh, another good that idea. That is really good. Because it adds a lot of extra mm -hmm. saucy flavor. Actually, like we need to do, I've got a lasagna recipe that we need to do again when yeah. we've had some space between our yeah, lasagna. Yeah, let's do that. And we need lasagna to do it with, with the sausage. Yeah. Um, just look over here. I'm doing stuff. <laughs> well. Hey from Georgia, first time watching. Hi Casey, thanks for joining us. Nicole from Pittsburgh. Okay, so for those of you who are just joining us, we are making crock pot lasagna. We're going to be doing kind of a Mother's Day theme, so we want to have something that you could make to have ready for dinner for that night. So that's why we're doing the crock pot lasagna. And then we're also, thank you. And then we're also doing egg benedict so that you can have a special breakfast for that morning. So we are browning up that meat. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, the eggs, Benny, that we'll be doing later, um, you know, I think a lot of people are intimidated by that, but I found some killer recipes. My sister's a foodie, so she's like, you have to do it. And it's super simple. Uh, it just takes a little bit. Timing is important during it. Um, but yeah, this one's really good because it's like, to get in the crock pot, uh, let it go. And then the, the eggs, Benny, it's, it's for the non-mothers, right, to be pre preparing uh, Mother's Day breakfast, because, you know, that's a thing, right? Or it should be a thing. It is a thing. Okay. It's you know, it's a, a thing. thing. Yes. Okay. So this is, this is for everyone. We're just running some, we're having a few technical difficulties today. So just bear with us. Show us some love, because... We, uh, we're having, we're having a few problems, but, um, so Camille thought I should do the song again at the end. Should I, uh, show me some likes and give me some comments if you think I should, uh, do that song again. Oh, I'm getting some love, definitely. Okay. Okay. I'll for sure do it again at the end. That way, for those who missed it in the beginning. Uh, I don't know, do you guys get, uh, thanks for all the likes? Do you guys get stage fright? Because I feel real, like I'm a really confident individual, but then all of a sudden we were like about to go live and Camille's like, stop doing your makeup and get on here. <laughs> so, so yeah, I don't know. Do you guys get stage fright? Let me know. I, uh, I definitely do. It just happens at the most random times though, you know? Okay, so let me, let's me let talk about the ingredients for this lasagna. We've got turkey. Okay, yeah, so we were talking about the Wi-Fi. Are people still having timeout problems? We're trying to decide if we should check on, and maybe... Casey Turner, you know what's up. Yeah, I get I get it too. Do you, do you want me to check on here and see if the Wi-Fi's yeah. going? Tell me if you have a strong enough connection. We're thinking maybe we might need to adjust something. Tell me if it's good. Come on, come on. Hey everyone, we're gonna get really up close and personal. How about that? Mine is working fine. Okay, people are saying it's fine. Yeah. I don't know why I can't get okay. that to. Okay, we'll just up. keep going. Yeah. We're just gonna keep going. Yeah. Because the I think the connection is okay. Yeah. Okay, looks good. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. So we are browning up some ground turkey. I'll just, why don't I talk while you're yeah, spinning? Yeah. So right now on the oven, we have ground turkey. It's a pound of extra lean. 
So this is actually kind of a skinnier approach to lasagna uh, because I do use fat-free cottage cheese in the recipe, uh, low-fat mozzarella and uh, Parmesan. So those are the cheeses and they're a little bit on the lighter side as far as lasagna is concerned. And then the extra lean ground uh, turkey is what is cooking up right now. So we'll do the turkey, add the chopped onion, brown that together, and then we'll be adding in the tomato sauce. So this is a recipe I've made so many times that I don't even need to look up the ingredients anymore, but I did pull it up so I didn't mess it up while I was sharing it with when, you. When you're throwing it in here, do you add any spices or anything? Or so the, just... the spices will be added with the sauce okay, after so you're done Okay, so not browning. while you're... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not while it's cooking in the pan. Yes. Okay. So, good here. Oh, I'm so glad, Bobby. Thank you for telling us. <laughs> it's hard to know what people can see when you're on this side of the camera, knowing what's going on. So, thank you for letting us know. Okay, how are we doing over there? We're pretty good. We're, we're getting we're, good? Yeah. And you know what? It's going to cook in the... It's a little bit the, of pink. So it's we a little put, bit of pink. Yeah. It's going to cook in the crock pot, though, too. Like, right? Yeah, so we're going to add the onion right now with the meat. It's just a tiny bit pink, but as we make the onions a little translucent, they'll just mix in together. Oh, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Shane cut the onion for me and it was done beautifully. But when I do it, I cut them a little bit smaller so then my kids don't see oh, the onion. Dang it. So it's just a mom trick. Yeah. It's fine. I don't know if you guys have done that with your kids, but I'll cut up the onions just a little bit smaller because they think they look alien or something. So I'm going to mix those up just a little bit. Okay. Do you want yeah. to bring the camera over? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get some close-up action over here. Yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, as you can see, there is not a ton of extra fat going on in here, so there's really no need to strain it unless you really want to. But at this point, I think we'll just go ahead and add in the sauce and the spices to get it all where it needs to be, so. Um, and we have a little friend who has joined us. <gasps> oh, there's Poppy. <laughs> He knows he got his name called. Yes, but love some onions, says Casey. Hey, Dave. Thanks for joining. Dave's my brother. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, you've got some, some representing over Thank here. Thank you. Thanks for the love, Dave. Okay, so at this point, I think we're ready to go ahead and add the sauce. Okay. So this is something that, can I be honest? Sometimes my motivation to cook is really good until like 2 o'clock. <laughs> And then after two o'clock, I'm like, uh, I don't want to cook anymore. I get tired. My fur baby is named Poppy. No way, Casey. That's awesome. Oh, Jordan, you're so sweet. <laughs> the next food show. Okay. So this is a meal that you can make in the morning after you've had breakfast and get it ready and going first thing. So then you don't run out of motivation to get it done. And then it's just cooking during the day and you're good. Hey, Christy. First time from Washington. Thanks for tuning hey, in. Hey, to be here. All right, so I just have a 29 ounce can of tomato sauce, just basic. You can use any brand you want. And if you have a favorite, then go ahead and do that. But this is just kind of a generic tomato sauce. It's good. So the thing that I love about this recipe is that you don't have to prep the noodles ahead of time. So it ends up saving you a lot of time. Grab you a close up on that. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, to the sauce here, we're going to have, of course, the three different layers. And right now, we're preparing the sauce, the meat sauce, for the lasagna. So, at this point, we're going to add in the salt and also the oregano. So, of course, those are just very basic things. So, another thing you can add at this point is tomato paste, but I don't generally have that on hand, so a lot of times I'll just skip that one because you don't really need it. Um, so Facebook Live, you guys are getting all of the love right now and Instagram kind of yes. getting shafted back there. Sorry about that. I'm like, let me take a video over here. So <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic into the sauce and I like to buy this prepared minced garlic because Awesome, and you can just keep it in the fridge. Give me some hearts and love if you keep this in the fridge. Yeah, I feel like garlic's one of those things that you 
just love or you kind of hate. Yeah. So, okay, who loves like, do you garlic? Hate it, like, you hate it if you're a vampire? Yeah. Because who hates it? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, if you hate it, let us know. If you love garlic, give us some hearts. Oh, I see tons of people loving yeah, it. Yeah, people are loving on the garlic. Yeah. It's really good for you, too. What are the medicinal properties? Does <laughs> anyone know? I'm sure there are some. I'm pretty sure it heals everything. Pretty much. That yeah. and apple cider vinegar, which we will talk about later in our next recipe. Yes. Um, with the mother. This is some serious apple cider vinegar. We're not using it for this recipe, though. Okay. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of oregano and a teaspoon of salt to the sauce. It smells really good. I know we always talk about that smell of vision. It needs to be a thing. Yeah, that we want that in the future to yeah. just pass it through. Yeah, just like here, yes. smell this. What happened to my salt? Here we are. Mm. Hopefully. Now, if you're watching your salt intake, you could reduce this. It doesn't have to be a full teaspoon. In fact, my mother-in-law... Do you want to grab the camera? Yeah, sorry. Okay. I think we are having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us. Yeah. So, I just added in the oregano and the salt. Hey, Megan. Hey, Melissa. Oh, yeah. Apple cider... And honey is my go-to drink every morning. That is oh, so awesome. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Okay. Talk about that. So, Casey, I put cayenne pepper, turmeric, and ginger in my drink. But that's what I have in the morning, too. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, we're going to let that simmer for just a second. And while that's simmering, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the cheeses and also the noodles. And you'll see how quickly this comes together. So, one thing that you want to make sure that you have with... Uh, the pot is to spray spray it first so you have easy cleanup which is just a very basic super tip, simple but important got our crock pot right here you can't quite see it let me go back this up a little bit yeah. perfect okay so we're going to go ahead and add these ingredients together the first thing that we're going to add is fat-free cottage cheese. This is about 24 ounces. So you'll just go ahead and dump that in. And then you'll want a small bag of mozzarella cheese that's gonna be about 40 cups. Oh, 40? Four cups. Oh, 40 sheesh. cups of cheese, just swim in it. It's, 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 it's fat-free, it's fine, it's fine. Are we get okay with the technical difficulties we're having today? We're right, a little we're, bit rusty, you guys. We are, a, we're struggling a little bit. We're okay though. We're okay. That's all right, thank yeah. you for yeah. sticking. Yeah, thanks for though. tuning in still. Okay. So I have those two added, and then the third cheese is gonna be your Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna be mixing these three cheeses together. This is gonna be about half, or probably a fourth a cup. You can find the exact measurements on the blog if you're looking for that. And then we're just gonna spoon this all together. This is actually a really easy meal for you make, to make with your kids. If they wanna help in the kitchen, there's really no way that you can mess it up. It kinda just all goes together. And the layers are really fun too. So we're mixing up these cheeses for the crock pot lasagna. And for those of you just tuning in, uh, my name is Camille. I don't even know if I said that. I'm Camille from My Mommy Style. And this is Shane, Poor Locker. Yeah, from It's Poor Locker. From It's Poor Locker. Perfect. And we didn't mean to dress the same. But... No, we didn't. I was like, I should have called before. Oh, look, Jordan just wrote, did you guys mean to match? And yeah. Tonight? <laughs> we, we, did we did not mean to match. No, it's just, weird because yeah. it's happened twice now. We did talk on the phone twice today, though, so maybe like our brain wavelengths they, are on the same came one. Through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know what that's about, but but we look good, right? Maybe it was Mother's Mother's Day, Day inspired. Thinking about tulips and all yeah. the goodness. Yeah. Okay. So for those of you just joining us, we're doing a a quick lasagna for the crock pot, and then um, Camille's. Camille's heading up that bad boy. She does it all the time. Uh, it's kind of one of her go-to things that is easy and um, and the kids like it, right? Except for when Shane cuts the onions. Except for one of my children that doesn't eat anything. It's um, fine. Well, yeah. you can't let them off, right? You, no, you cannot. Okay, okay. So Who I want to... Who can empathize with me? Yeah, Who can yeah. empathize? Who can empathize with Camille on picky eating kids? Because I would love to hear oh, my word. what your kids... Like, maybe the only thing that they ate or how picky they were. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw my brother under the, br under the bus for today. <laughs> uh -huh. And growing up... so. I didn't realize this, but we but I, we talked about this as adults. 
So for dinner, almost every single night, there was, so we're, mm -hmm. we're Hawaiian, so we always had rice, right? So that was coming no matter what. But there were always baked beans for dinner. Always, okay. right? Thank and you. I was like, oh, I like those, you know, so <laughs> I got some. But come to find out, yeah, yeah. That's what a kid looks sure, like. Sure, that's what yeah. they do. I'll take a beans. So bean. come to find out, my brother would only eat beans and rice. He wouldn't eat anything else. And so my mom said, well, I can either let him starve every night uh -huh. or I can open up a can of beans. Open up a can because a mother's got to do what a mother's yeah. got to do. Trust me. So what do you guys got? Uh, yeah, we're still waiting for those picky eaters. Still yeah, waiting. we want to hear what you wouldn't eat. I tell my children they have one veto that at any given time of their life, they do not have to eat. And mine was clam chowder, and my mom made some pretty dang good clam chowder. Mm. But for whatever reason, I just don't like that buttery, yeah. gummy bear saltiness. I don't know. It's just never been my thing. Mm -hmm. So they get a veto. Yeah. So no. I want to hear what your veto is. Yeah. Yeah. What is it like you just don't like or didn't like yeah. growing up? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I didn't like runny eggs growing up. Like, I don't like the yolky yolkness. Yeah. I hate well, I that. do tell my kids that your taste buds change, too. So if you don't like it now, you just have to keep giving it a chance. Yeah. I think that's Harrison, seven years thing only, is a lot. Only tacos and pizza. Harrison is Maria's son, and those are oh, the only things he eats. Oh, <laughs> yes. It, it's the truth of it, though. Kate. Well, I think he's gotten better, but yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and layer this. Super basic. Again, I just have the meat sauce that we made with a couple of ingredients, the cheeses that we mixed together, and then some uncooked uh, lasagna noodles. So super basic. Dave, peas and corn dogs oh, are disgusting. Oh. Okay, so Dave's this is funny. Dave's brother, right? Yeah, Dave's my brother. He hates peas. He loves clam chowder. So when it's his birthday, he always asks for clam chowder. And uh, that was kind of his thing, which is awesome. Great. <laughs> But peas, he hates them with a passion, even to this day, like totally his veto. And we have a can of peas that we have wrapped up and given him for a birthday and Christmas <laughs> over and over and over again because he hates peas so much. So Do you box like it differently joke. so he doesn't know? Yes. Um, yes. So it will be with a real gift sometimes and other times it's not, it's just tucked in there. Yeah. So it's like run, a running joke. So Sarah, I don't know if you saw, <laughs> Sarah hated eggs, wouldn't eat them. She just started eating them three years ago and I'm 33. Good on you. I think that seven years thing is a lie. Remember how they always say like your taste buds change every seven years. It's just like oh, one of those yeah, yeah, yeah. fake things that aren't real. That they just tell you. They just tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, you're going to love it tonight because after I lasagna. I hate asparagus. Asparagus. My son is picky and he only likes steak and chicken, french fries, mac and cheese. Tracy, your kid sounds just like mine. He <laughs> loves like bacon and steak and like all of these meaty things, but yeah, there's a few things that he just will not go for. Okay, so I'm just breaking these noodles to fit along the bottom, and then you have these little pieces that I'll just put in the corners as I go. And so we're just layering. You did a layer of your sauce the and sauce meat. The sauce first, after I sprayed the pan. After you sprayed the pan, yeah. sauce and meat, mm -hmm. followed by the lasagna. Yes. And not the oven-ready one, the one, just the just regular Just the regular noodles. So they can, noodles. they're going to sit in the crock pot for a long time, so you're going to be good. Can we get a visual of oh, yeah. the layering? Yeah, dun, dun, dun. I will get all Oh, of you that. might make this. Oh, I love it. Okay, so as you're going with the layering, you can actually let the noodles, it's a little bit tighter along the bottom, so you have to break them a little bit more on the bottom. But then as you get your way up, you can make it less so, where you can just layer them. So I'll show you on the on this one. So then you just you just follow it up with the the same the pattern sauce again, and then mm -hmm. you're good, right? Like that's just the pattern you follow. Yeah, that's the pattern. Cool. Okay, so we're coming in like this, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is super super easy. So we might get oh yep, see to that point where we can just lay that one flat, and then typically I'll need to do one and a half there, and then I'll fill in the holes on the sides and it all just kind of comes together. Now, here's the thing about the crock pot lasagna is that after it first is done cooking and you're about ready to eat it, I will actually stop the cooking process about 20 to 30 minutes before we're ready to eat it so that it's not too runny. So if it's, if it's runny, 
because it's been in the crock pot, you kind of want to give it a minute to sit, but it also reheats beautifully. So you can eat it the next day and just keep it right in the crock pot and have it for an easy to go, like heat up and go meal for a weeknight or whatever. So, so we're going to do the sauce again. And you can even double this recipe and have it have the extra sauce available for another day. Or if you want to make a meal for someone else, this is a really good one that you can double up and make. That's so nice. Do you make meals for other people? <sighs> yeah, sometimes. That's good. That's yeah. good of you. Especially if they've had a baby. Oh, yeah. Everyone should get free meals for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. My husband said, that's the best part of you having a baby. I love getting free meals for him. <laughs> I'm like, well, if only it were that easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah one of uh, one of our friends had a baby and they're getting lots. They're like, I just talked to her and she's like, yeah, I've pretty much got meals for the rest of my life in my freezer. <laughs> well, she must live somewhere really good. Yeah, she does. She does. She lives in Vegas. Um, and it was it, so we were talking. And I was like, I think moms sometimes just need a, a visit from like another adult after yeah. having a baby. Oh, Megan said, I'm going to make this tomorrow. Thanks for the Megan. inspiration. Thanks, Megan. Yeah. She's one of my besties of my life. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So the very last layer. And again, this is something you can prepare the night before or that morning of. So you'll just want to go ahead and cook it on low. Um, usually if I have this meal done by around like the noon hour, I'll put it on low and cook it for four to six hours. And it's just ready for dinner time. And then if it's getting where it looks like it's done and you don't want to cook it anymore, you can just keep it on warm or turn it all the way off and then it will be good to go when it's time to eat. So the last layer that you're going to be putting on is the sauce. You got that live action shot? I'm trying, but Sorry, I kind of got the shakes. It. I got the shakes over here. Okay. It's making it difficult, but we'll see. Okay, so I wanted to show you this crock pot that I love because this is actually one that has handles on the side. I don't know why I didn't get one of these earlier, but if you're going somewhere on the go, you can actually clamp it down so that if you're bringing it in the car, it doesn't make a hot mess. This is really good if you're, ooh, if I put it on right, if you're um, traveling and you need to bring soup somewhere or something, because then you can hold onto the lid and it's not like this huge splashy mess, which, has happened to me. So that meal is ready to go. If you want to get that crockpot lasagna recipe, you can link, you can follow the instructions from the link in the description and it will take you right there. It's super easy and so good. It's actually my husband's favorite meal that I make. So that reminds me too, uh, share this to your page and you'll have all the ingredients for um, not only, there's a, there'll be a link, right, yep. to your blog uh -huh. with step-by-step. Uh, step-by-step instructions on how to do that so mm -hmm. you can either watch this again or you can go to the blog and just see how to do it there and then you also have the ingredients for the next recipe that yeah. we do. so if you share this to your wall it will automatically save and you won't have to go hunting for it later and you can have the ingredients that you need and also the instructions and everything and sharing it helps us out absolutely too. so we love that we so, will love you yeah we will love you anyways um, so yeah, if you're just joining us again, we're doing we did a quick lasagna yeah. in a crock pot That What's was that? my mommy style walker over here for her recipe that she does all the time and then We'll be doing eggs benedict for a Mother's Day breakfast Guys, I'm talking to you make a Mother's Day breakfast what does Sarah say? I've done that before with tons of cheese and added mushrooms to mine Ooh, see we talked about mushrooms. So we're having. Do you remember a, we talked about mushrooms? We're having some technical difficulties still. Oh, okay. Amy, thanks for reaching out to us. Um, I wonder. Yeah, are you on that Wi-Fi at all? Let's go ahead and check it and see. Okay. Okay. Uh, X out if you're if you're having trouble. I don't know how to check it while I'm live. Did you figure it out? Because I think I can do it. You can. Okay. Yeah, it just is a pain. Hey, we're gonna just we're just gonna be good friends. Is that cool? I'm gonna do this for a second. That's annoying, isn't it? Um, yeah, your phone kind of hates me. 
Dang it, it won't do it. I'm really sorry. Oh, no, we are disconnected from the Wi-Fi. Well, should, darn it. Should we connect it just to see if that makes it better? Uh, I can try that, yeah. Hey, just my face. Don't What's... do that? Okay, Paul said don't do that, so we're not gonna do that. Well, okay, how about this? We're just gonna keep going and then we will post the video after so you guys can give it a watch. Yeah, we're sorry. We don't I know, know what's going on with the Wi-Fi. Usually we, it's not such an issue. This will not be the problem next time. Yeah. Bear with us. Pinky promise. And this. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, hey, it's your turn. Okay, all right. Hey, let's do this. I'm going to stick this in the fridge for later. So. Um, hey, Chanel, if you want to, jump on my phone right here. You yeah. can see if it's working or not. Okay, so Eggs Benedict, normally do that with Canadian bacon. Today, we are doing it with some super legit, um, just some deli bacon. I went to the deli and I was like, give me some of that and some of that. Um, so we've got, we've got, I got, a, I grabbed a couple different kinds. You can just grab the regular one, but this one kind of caught my eye. Um, yeah, raw meat. Yum. Uh, it's just a, it's got a brown sugar bacon. And then I grabbed one more. Um, some pepper bacon over here. Um, you know, they just seasoned it as all they did. That looks super fancy. But it looks good, right? I look like I, I look like I shop somewhere important, don't I? With I my, think so. With my paper. Yeah. My son heard we were making bacon and he was very mad that he had to be asleep right now. <laughs> it's like, you're eating bacon? That's not okay. I know. Like thanks I for, said, he's a bacon lover. Thanks for tuning in this late because that's, that's part yeah. of the reason why. Because it's nice to be able to cook and, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, yeah. how many kids you got now? Four kids. Four kids. They're all mine. Yeah. I went to Disney land this year and we were meeting Shrek and Fiona and Fiona says oh these are all of your children <laughs> and I'm like yeah they're all mine <laughs> it was quite shocking even at Disneyland so yes four kids they're awesome so I yeah I think I forgot to put bacon in the recipe on the link okay so make so sure to add bacon. make sure to add bacon bacon makes everything better so right? I'm just making two servings because there's two of us yeah. uh, and I'm just gonna do one strip here of the um, pepper bacon and one strip of the, the brown sugar deliciousness bacon that looks fancy oh it is and it's it gets so good and caramelized and delicious in here um, I might have to put this right here because my pan is a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Don't mind me, I'm just, just breaking this with my hands. All right, so we're gonna talk about apple cider vinegar for a moment. And tell me who on here drinks this because there are a lot of medicinal benefits towards this. I hear people all also do it for weight loss purposes. And I'm curious how many of you use this because a few of you commented saying that you had. So tell me all the things. This is the organic Bragg brand, which some people are really particular about their... Apple cider vinegar? Yeah. This is with the mother. This is with the... Oh, it's like mother thing. Yeah, yeah. Did you need to do that? No. It just, it just worked out. Isn't that good? Yeah. It just worked out like yeah. a t-shirt. Totally. Yeah. So I want to hear who uses this and drinks it because my mom actually started... My mother actually started drinking it and... She does it every day, I think, which is awesome. And hi, Instagram, for those of you who are still with us. Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna confess something. Speaking of mother, have any of you watched the show Bates Motel? And for those of you who have seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about, the significance of mother because Oof. holy smokes have you seen it i have like a couple of a episodes bit? like the first couple episodes which here's a little nugget that i think is funny in one of the episodes they talk about mother being the wi-fi password in all caps and i'm like that's so funny they were probably thinking they were just being super clever i need some tongs or a spatula okay so i broke my own rule so because i got legit bacon you want to slow down the 
cook, or you want to, it's going to take longer to cook, but you want to turn down the temperature a little bit, um, medium or lower, so that it doesn't ruin your expensive bacon. Oh, and did you go too high? Yeah, I, I definitely started out too high. Oh, and, okay. But, and so you're going to, you're actually going to flip it a couple of times while it's, while it's cooking. And I'm going to bring everyone up. Up close and personal, because I like it when it's up closer. Hi! Not me. I'm going to turn it on the bacon. <laughs> yeah, so I've got two kinds going in here. It's probably a faux pas or faux pas, as my mom calls it. I think she's trying to double faux pas when she says that, faux pas. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. But I've got them both in there, and they're cooking. And I've also, we've got to get some water going. So you want to get, because we're going to do this for a poached egg, and I've got some tricks for a poached egg. But you want to get uh, it boiling and then turn it down to a simmer when uh, right before you throw in the egg. Um, we also are going to th throw in some... I used apple cider vinegar because I didn't have white vinegar, but you can use either white vinegar or apple cider vinegar. doesn't really matter. You're going to throw about a tablespoon of that into the water for the poached egg along with some salt. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in the salt now because... I feel like that helps things cook. It does not matter what kind of salt. I just happen to have some sea salt on me. Um, so yeah, just throw a little bit of that in there. I also, you also need to make sure you have some softened butter. So we might need to pop this one in the microwave for a second because it's not, it's gotta be really, really soft when you're mixing the eggs benedict because it gets a little stressful if you're, if you're uh, uh, not, you don't have everything prepared right away. Because you want as you want to serve eggs Benedict as soon as it's done cooking, uh, it doesn't. It's not something you keep in the fridge and for a couple days. It just doesn't doesn't keep. Ew. So yeah. So you want to serve your your hollandaise sauce, uh, your eggs Benedict, really shortly after preparing it. Um, speaking of which, you're also going to need some lemons, and we're going to do some fresh sweet. You can use uh, some lemon juice. But I would highly suggest doing fresh squeezed lemons. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that cut open. Can I get like a cup or something? Sorry, I was not. Can I get an there. amen? Yes. Okay, so I have a little secret that I do when I'm doing a lemon in my handy dandy juicer. Oh, I uh, went and picked this up the other day. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there's a proper way to do this. If you have a proper way, to lemon, you just give us a shout out, and but this is what I do. I cut off the bottom of it, and I kind of like stab it a little bit, and then um, and then I then I pop it in here. So that way it kind of comes through the bottom of the juicer rather than up and over the top all of it. Well, that's smart. So you yeah. Have all the seeds in there. Yeah, yeah, because I hate that. So you really just need about a half a lemon's worth of juice, cup, like a tablespoon or two. Um, you don't really need very much. So there's that. Still waiting for water to boil, but... Uh, waiting for water to boil. Yeah, it's, it's legit happening in one day. Um, thanks for joining us. Sorry, we are just hey, having... Mommy! Difficulties. Is that your mom? Wait, who's that? That's my friend. Oh, okay. Hi, Trisha. Thanks for joining us. You guys, we are having technical difficulties, but if you bear with us and if you might need to exit out and refresh just by exiting out and coming back in, the connection should work for you. So I'm sorry that it's just been kind of hard today. Yeah. Okay, so for those of you who are just tuning in, we are making Eggs Benedict. And right now we are browning up the bacon and getting melted butter going for the holiday sauce. Hollandaise. Hollandaise. And some lemon. So if you have experience with making this dish, we'd love to hear about it. Oh, it's finally working. Yay. Oh, Timory, thank you for sticking in. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully it starts working for people more. So thank you for tuning in. And Timory, because you are so nice to have commented, we want to hear all about it. I know we're matching today. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I don't know why that's happening, but we keep matching on accident. Yeah, I know. The so first, first show we did maroon. We're matching. I know. This time we're doing pink. Because <laughs> we're thinking of moms. It was the mom thing. It was the mom and thing. And tulips. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Tulips. But it's happening. And we're so glad it's working. So please share because we're kind yeah. of at a, 
at a funk a little bit because we were having some technical difficulties. We're like, we keep losing. Yes, we totally are matching on accident. Working now, yes. thank you. Thank you, Megan, for letting us know. <laughs> yes, on accident. We are weird. Yeah. Why is that happening? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. So for those of you who are just tuning in, at the beginning of the video, I was sharing an easy go-to crock pot lasagna. So share this to your wall and then you can see it later. And I also have a link to the blog where you can find all of the instructions and ingredients for that as well. And it's a really, really good recipe. Thank you, Tracy and Timory. They both shared. Yeah. I'm so glad that it's working. Yeah. You know what's interesting is I closed out of the screen on accident and I opened it back up. And I think that helps a little bit. I think bit. that might have been the thing. Yeah. Kindred spirits. We needed to. Yes. We needed to. Hey, Renee. so we talked about flowers earlier and uh, some of my friends, they were married for like 20 years uh -huh. and like the wife loved roses. But yeah. she never like expressed that to her husband. Oh. So he would always come back with like a, the spring bunch, you know, like the discount one. Um, you know, cause like, and he would just, he would do it all the time though, yeah. you know? And okay. I think in the course of a fight, she was like, I hate those flowers, you know, like I love roses <laughs> and like, which is kind of, you know, like kind of an, a crazy intense moment, you know, yes, right? to be sharing the hate of the wild. Yeah. But yeah. I think it was so important because like that was something she had never expressed. Yes. And as soon as she did, man, she got roses whenever she... Whenever he felt like she, he wanted to give them to her. So I want to hear what people's favorite flowers are. That was Can my I point. Can I confess something really embarrassing? So while this bacon is cooking and not liking flowers, one year my sweet husband, which our anniversary is near um, Halloween time, and thank you for sharing this, you guys. So uh, Renee, thank you for sharing. Um, around okay, so our anniversary is around Halloween, and one this was after we've been married just a couple of years. And totally bratty on my part. <laughs> I can't wait for but, this. And I love him. He's the best husband. He came home with a bag of candy and carnations for our anniversary. And I was kind of upset about that. Oh my gosh, I'm such a brat. I was like, carnations? He like stopped <laughs> at the gas station and got some Halloween candy and carnations? So, yeah. Yes, I, I'm not her husband. No. So. He's not my husband, and my husband is here supporting this lovely video, yeah. but I was kind of a brat about it. So please tell me I'm not the only one. But yeah, so maybe tell us if you hate flowers, or tell yeah. us what your favorite flower is, or tell us the flower that you wish people got you. And on Mother's Day, and you know, I've kind of leaned toward give me a plant or something That's that doesn't mom. die. my mom. is all about the plant life. Yeah, I don't know. I go back and forth on roses because I love them, but then sometimes I'm like all economical and... Dave Ramsey about me and I'm like they just die that's such a waste of money and so let's my poor it. husband he's like I don't know what to do let's do a close up of okay. the bacon so you can kind of see what you want all to right like, I also need Timory. a top for that food is better than flowers says Megan she loves food <laughs> I prefer a plant says Renee not a flower fan but thankful when my husband gets them but he knows I prefer plants yeah yeah I that's me too I like them both sorry honey I just shared our carnation story. <laughs> Calla lilies are my favorite. Oh, they smell so good. Sarah, I love those too. Okay, so here's the bacon. Tell us about the bacon. Okay, so the bacon, it, this is all personal preference. You know, a lot of people like super crispy bacon. Some people like it a little fatty, you know. Um, this is about where I like it. Uh, these couple pieces right here. This one needs to cook a little bit further. Um, but we're getting ready. We can just, we're about ready to just set that aside and move on to our other things um but okay ah oh, the water has boiled a watch pot does boil Yay. Um, okay so we've got leslie warm... thank you for sticking in with us timory says i love papyrus something that lives yes okay so you want it you got it boiling but you want to turn it down to like a simmer and can i just tell you i have the coolest trick ever um Okay, so you know how when you normally do a poached egg, I don't know if you experience this, but I get the like the egg just goes everywhere in there, you know? <laughs> Nick says like I prefer that. bacon to flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, way to be. I, I, I'm right there with you. Um, okay, spatula. I need a spatula. Yay, hello Christine from Tasmania. I'm so sorry about something was going on weird with my phone, so I'm glad that people are sticking it out and coming back. Okay, we want to make sure that we added in our 
apple cider vinegar with the mother. Um, so you're just gonna do like a tablespoon of that. Oh, a fruit banquet, those are good. What's that company called, the fruit? Fruit. You know the fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the what is it called, Sarah? The bouquets of fruit. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I someone, remember. someone will know on there. Well, Sarah will know. Fruit. You guys are yeah. so cute. Of course, we will stick around. Oh, Tim Marie, thank you. <laughs> we were really kind of flustered. Yeah. So thank you. That means a lot. Okay. Edible arrangement. That's what oh, it is. Oh, yeah. we got it. Yeah. That's my, fav oh, Tim my Marie favorite. Tim Marie got cooking it. Show. Yay! Yes. Thanks, Dick. Nick. What's up, man? Edible arrangements. Thank you, Abby. I seriously could not remember. Megan, thank you. Edible arrangements. See, those are really good. Yeah. Do you have a top for this one? Uh huh? Can I, or just make one up? It's, yep. Or do you want me to get it? You it's just it? in that cupboard of, okay. by the plant, and then it's the second one up. If I just grab one, will it work is the question. Perhaps. Ta-da! Good job. Okay, so we're making a legit poached egg here. So we've got it kind of on a simmer. You're gonna you're gonna rotate the uh, get, just get a get it shot right here on the water. Oh yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're gonna rotate, come up higher so they can see it. You're gonna make a little whirlpool. Doesn't matter which direction you go, okay? But you're gonna get the whirlpool going. Try not to spill the water everywhere. So you get the whirlpool going, right? Right? You with me? You with me? You whirlpooling? Um, and then you're gonna crack the egg right in the center and if you get close up on that egg you can see that it's not coming apart everywhere do you see that it's swirling Sarah says that her daughter and her and she do them at home for birthday parties to make them so much fun it's hard to read upside down yeah I might have just combined those two but we're gonna deal with it um, so we're gonna do a legit poached egg. So okay. we are going to cover it. We're gonna pull it off the heat and we're gonna just let it do its thing. Normally you, you can pull it off, but I'm gonna cook it a little bit, a little bit more. So you turn off your heat and you set a timer for five minutes. Oh, we've got a child meltdown upstairs. <laughs> They're not my kids. I don't know who's so set a timer for five minutes, walk away from it. Don't open that thing, don't don't touch it, don't peek, no nothing. You, your egg is gonna poach by itself. I'm burning my bacon, because I'm distracted with my whirlpool. Uh, Sarah says she's never had a poached egg. Really, Sarah, this will change your life, seriously. I'm just gonna- It's been like, I, like 15 years since I've had one. I'm just gonna... But he says that this recipe is gonna change my life, so we will see. Yep. Okay, so Five I, minutes gives you what type of egg? Poached easy? Yes, yes, you're gonna get a poached easy. So if you want it a little bit harder, um, just leave it just leave it in for longer. Because it's gonna it's gonna leave it in for ten minutes if you want it hard. But I I okay, I just have to say I hate I hated um, runny eggs. But I had this recipe today and I was like, I'm gonna do it um, I'm gonna do it hard and I'm gonna do it soft and I for the first time in my life, love a soft egg. Do you want to set us down? And then yes. Can... My hand's like shaking. <gasps> I know. Sorry for the shakiness. <laughs> there we go. Only five minutes. By the way, you look so pretty. Aw, thanks, best friend. Yeah, hey. so five minutes for the egg to set so that it's, what would you say? So it's it can hold its form, but it's not too runny, right? Yeah. Yep, yeah. it can hold its form. Um, Okay, so we want to get the hollandaise sauce going. So you want a, a very oh, sorry. low, no, no, you're good. You're get good. this back in. Um, a very low heat for your hollandaise sauce. And, and I just did not prepare properly. I'm just stealing this bowl. Hope that's okay. Hope it's not like grandma's china or something. Um, but you're gonna need, first thing you're gonna need is not to have this on the heat. I lied. You're gonna need three, uh, three egg yolks, just the yolk. So if you know the trick of, you know, pulling out the yolk, um, letting the letting the other stuff drain, you can just throw that right into your pan that you're gonna be cooking with. So you need three of those. Hopefully you can kind of see me over there. So three egg yolks. 
Um, I might have to pull up my recipe just to double check. Is it just here? Yeah. What's your code? Um, it's like an L, starting at 1. I stole that code from my sister. Um, I guess having your PIN number as your code is probably not the smartest thing, so I think I picked that one up from her. But if you kind of swipe left or right, you'll get to the right page. Um, I will just grab it real quick. Oh, here, let's see who, who's talking to us. All right, so things. Tim Marie says, what are you guys doing for Mother's Day? Well, my husband is right here. We should ask him. What are we <laughs> doing for Mother's Day? I don't know. We just kind of, uh, usually we'll eat a good meal. Let's see. What are you doing? Are you visiting your mama? Yep. We're having Mother's Day dinner after everyone flies into the same city, which mm -hmm. will be later that night. Um, oh, did I, did I seriously? Sarah says you can use the egg whites. And make a great omelet. I was I wanted to hear what people had to say about about using the egg whites. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna have the three egg yolks. You're gonna pour in the lemon juice and um, a, like a tablespoon of water. Sounds good. And do you have a whisk? I'm huh? just gonna use this because it's right here. <laughs> this happened to me earlier today. I didn't have a whisk and I had this brush. <laughs> So I just uh, used it. So you're gonna whisk it because this is gonna get it ready for what you're about to do. Um, ooh, Teflon. Teflon. It like, I can't. My mom will like beat me if I use that on this pan. That's all I have, my friend. Okay, this will work. This will be fine. So uh, one, you want to have this. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna be, you're gonna be doing this a lot for your hollandaise sauce. Um, okay, so let's get it on the heat. And can you soften up my butter? How much do you need? That stick, that is somewhere. I don't know where I put it. This one? Yeah. It feels somewhat soft. So super low heat. Um, you want your stuff out. Sorry, I'm just gonna give you a slightly better angle over here. Um, yeah, do you wanna just throw that yeah. in the microwave? Yep, yeah, I got it for you. Okay, our timer just went off. So that means that our egg is done and we can pull it out. Um, I'm gonna leave it just like another minute or two because uh, it's looking like it still needs some time. But Camilla's doing my uh, my butter real quick. How much oh, do you think, like 10 seconds? Yeah, like 10 seconds. I love you guys, love your live show. Thanks Sarah, I really appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Thanks for coming back because we were having some technical difficulties earlier. Um, okay, so I just gotta double check this, but overcut, blah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you're just gonna, you wanna keep this moving because you don't want your egg to cook because it'll turn into uh, a scrambled egg if you do that. I, can you like more, like so it's yeah. like melting? Yep. Or mostly melted, so maybe maybe 20 seconds. So you're gonna spoon you're gonna spoon in your um, your butter. And here's the thing: if it starts to if it starts to get uh, if it starts to you know curdle or whatever that's called, cook scramble. If it starts to scramble. Um, this angle is kind of weird for me. Um, but so if it starts to scramble then you can just you can just pull it off the heat like pull it off the heat for a second thank you okay pull you in here so I'm turning up my heat a little bit because it's not doing the exact color that I want but really all you're gonna do you kinda gotta spoon this in but I'm just gonna pour it because that's what I've got can you see do I need to like do one of these yeah you're good Okay. So each time you pour in some of this, you want to make sure it fully mixes in before you add any more. Um, so you just kind of kind of keep this up, and you pour some in. You mix it around. We're doing a uh, we did a full stick of butter for our three eggs and our um, lemon juice. 
So not the most health conscious meal. No, not at all. <laughs> but not Mother's at all. Day, you don't need to worry about it's that. It's a treat, and we're just making oh. servings for two. Yeah. <laughs> so do you see how it's getting thick on me right here? Like this is good. I this is how I like it. But I'm gonna turn my heat down just a little bit, and it's a little more thick than I want it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this in, and I'm just gonna pull it off the heat for a second. So it's not getting too crazy. If you do have a problem, you can throw in some lemon juice and uh, you know some water and like just just to try and even out what's happening. So this is definitely getting thicker than I wanted it because I I got nervous and I turned up my heat too much. Um, but I'm turning my heat back down. So I pulled it off the heat and I'm just pouring in more butter. And you just repeat this until all of it's mixed in. Um, yeah, so a little more chunky than, than we're used to over here. That's just fine. But, yeah, it's going to taste it's okay just to be good. a little chunky. <laughs> Heather says, hi, Shaney. Hi. Of course you guys do have a live show. Oh, how do we have a live show often? How often? Of course you guys going to have live shows often. I'm not quite sure what you're asking, but I'm going to try to answer. So we're going to be doing this every Tuesday night at 9 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. And yeah. I will be going live on my mommy style at 9 o'clock on Thursday night. So if you want to tune in with me then, you can do that as well. So Tuesday I'll be going days. over parenting things, talking about babies and helping them sleep at night and pregnancy and birth and mommy hacks and all sorts of goodness. So I'd love to see you over there too if you want to tune in at my mommy style. So, <laughs> so Timory, yay, have a great time. Yeah, so please come over and I'm actually, the first thing I'm gonna be talking about in my mini series is doing, why, uh, doing natural labor, which is kind Ooh. of a controversial topic. Sheesh. But I'm super passionate about it and I've learned a lot of it from doing it both ways, medicated and unmedicated, and I've learned a lot. I, about it. I think the other thing I like too is that like you've spent with the My Mommy Style blog, you spent a lot of time with different experts in it as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're coming from your own experience, but also, yeah. you know, you've worked with prof professionals in that field. You've done it with nurses and doctors and different people. So, yes. so I feel like Camille's, Camille's really educated on this apart from obviously experiencing it herself, which I think is probably the best education. Um, but let me just real quick. So delivering your own baby both ways own is the best education. <laughs> So come in. On Josie this. says she's coming over to be our taste tester. You really okay. can. Come on over, Josie. So come in on this sauce real quick. So it, this is the consistency that I prefer. So we rescued yeah, that it. Looks beautiful. We saved Good it. Good job, Jane. You're just gonna add a dash of cayenne, right? So I like a little bit of cayenne, and then some pepper. If you've got white pepper, do that because then it kind of blends in. It's a it's a it's a yellow dish, you know. Um, but if black pepper is all you have, it does not matter. You can do whatever, whatever pepper you've got. Yeah, that looks good. Um, okay, we are ready to plate. So really, yeah. Where are the eggs? I'm like nervous. Yeah, I know, I know. I will, I will get. I don't know what's happening. I'm just holding the camera. Josie lives close to me, so she actually really can just hop over and try it. You really should. Josie, come on come over. over. Come, we'll have a guest. Yeah. Our first guest. Be our guest. Be our guest. We are going to sing again. So the, for those of you who are still sticking around with us, thank you. And Shane sang a Mother's Day song at the beginning when we went live. And I told him he should do it again. So give us some more likes and hearts for that because I'm trying to encourage him to do it again. It was really sweet. Oh, we got some hearts. Oh, yeah, man. I think you should. Okay, I jumped the gun a little bit. I forgot I got to toast my, uh, my bun. Toast your bun. Bun in the oven. We are talking about pregnancy, which I'm not pregnant. Hallelujah. Okay, so, so I want to hear what you guys are doing for Mother's Day. Oh, there's a lot of hearts and likes for you to sing again. All right. All so right. while Shane's getting this ready, toasting the buns, I want to hear what you guys are doing for your Mother's Day. Heather said, I think we should get Shane to play the sax. Oh, yes. <laughs> I live on, in Ohio, says Sarah. Uh, I went to New Orleans, and I've got to say, the sax player was really saxy. Like, it was kind of hot. Did, did you, you like just, my pun? Did you just take it there? I did. That was funny. <laughs> Hello from Michigan, Sarah in Ohio. Thank you for tuning in. So tell me, if you are mothers, what are you guys planning on doing for your Mother's Day? Or what do you like for a Mother's Day gift? I would love to hear that, too, because I think, I've heard people say, if you could choose, what would you choose, a masseuse? 
like a massage once a month, let's say. Um, a maid to clean your house once a month. I love that. A cook, a personal cook, or a nanny to help you with your kids. What would you pick? I think I would pick the maid. I'm not a big fan of cleaning all the time. Okay, I just threw Puns. it on, on my bacon grease. Oh, you ready? I know that's... Mm, no but. plans. Husband has to be on base all weekend. Oh, Aww. bummer. Hey. Melissa says maid. Happy Mother's Day to you. Virtual hugs to my son in the army, says Stacy. Looks like we've got a lot of military people. That's really cool. Thank I you for they, your sacrifice. Yeah. I hope they get to shoot an email or call or something yeah. on that day. Mama should always be able to talk to their kids Definitely. on that special day. Do you have a little bit of fruit for me? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show them this while while I'm grabbing my fruit. So I like to get my English muffin, my buns a little toasted. Um, that just makes me think of the beach. Do you have like a little a little serving dish for this? Mm -hmm. um, and so we're gonna pretend that's toasted more, but I like I like it crispy and toasted. You can throw it in the toaster if that's if that's your thing. Um, and then so. We are going to just put our bacon on next. So we've got we've got uh, just a little bit of bacon on next, right? And then we're gonna gather our poached egg. Do you have a slotted spoon? I did not prepare. So unprepared today. Um, do you have a slotted spoon for me? Uh-huh. This is where all my Oh, thank you. I'm using this. Okay. <laughs> this is almost a slotted spoon. It's the it's the thing for uh, I think my kitchen tools aren't fancy enough for Shane. Oh let's just say my. it. Fork. I agree. Toast buns longer. Oh yeah, crispier. Oh yeah. Okay, this one. Hi, Vince. Crispy. Says Sarah. I'm not. You had me at bacon, said Josie. <laughs> <laughs> Knife. Says Vince. Looks delish. Says Jolene. Straight piece of bacon. Okay, so you want to get a slotted spoon to pull out your poached egg? Do you want me to show it up close and personal? Well, this one got all ugly. So yeah, here. We'll do this one right here. So, just throwing on our poached egg. Done. And, do you wanna hold this? Take yeah. it right there? Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. So you really, really can't be messing with hollandaise sauce. You gotta put it on like right away. Um, hopefully this is still good. Okay. It looks great. Yeah. And it tastes amazing. So, you know, it's normally all pretty in the uh, in the pictures, and it runs off the food perfectly. But I'm not a professional chef, and so this is what it's gonna look like for right now. And moms don't need per professional chefs; they yeah. just need not to make it. But I promise you, this it will be the best. It always tastes better when you don't have to be the one making it. Yeah, this will be the best egg you ever eat, though. Oh, Definitely. Melissa was just asking if we matched on purpose. We did not. We did not. But we're just lucky. And if you just tuned in, we did lasagna to start, and then we finished with some eggs Benedict. Voila. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Live TV, people. <laughs> really good. Yeah. <laughs> it was worth it. Okay, yeah. should we take a bite? Yes, definitely. Okay. I need to rinse my thumb, though. Mm. Hold on. We're going to pull you back out, so... We're not all in your faces, but... They like us in their faces. Do they? Yeah. I mean, we're pretty cute, so... I think it's good to be a little close and personal. Okay. It's really yummy. Okay, should we sit down so I don't yeah. make the egg roll again? So, and I just did some fruit on the side, and that's... I'm calling that breakfast. Hey, yum. So you kind of got to... Okay, so my eggs were a little, little harder than I wanted, because I left them on there. I actually prefer eggs a little harder, but that's a big bite. Should I just go for it? Mm -hmm. This is like a bite my husband would take. He takes big bites. <laughs> mm. We need like a little more hollandaise. That's good. Isn't that good? Mm. Isn't that like life changing? Yeah. I seriously, like I had this today. I made it earlier just to prep. Good. And I called Camille. 
And I'm like, Camille, this is the best egg I've ever eaten. Yeah. Just like freaking out. We can't see the food. Oh, man. Let's get in there. You guys need to see this yeah. like up close. I'm bringing you back in. Let's bring it down and like angled so they can see the action. Yeah. It's a little, a little messy now, but. Seriously, so good. This bacon is insane. Yeah, the bacon is great. I'm gonna steal that piece. So I think what's good about this too is like you can, if you can make it more, so I love this runny and I didn't make it runny, but you can put, I'm you can add more thing. lemon, you can add more pepper, you can add more cayenne, you know, which just to taste, but. Mm. Hey, that lemon is so, like that's such a surprise. And this is embarrassing to say, but is there always lemon? Does it always taste lemony like that? I don't know because I'm not. Does a... it usually taste lemony? Because I'm loving that. I love it though. And I think that's a key. Could so do ham too, says mm -hmm. Sarah. Vince, oh, please stop. Yeah, it's <laughs> seriously, this is amazing. Can you just come over on Mother's Day? Yeah. So the other thing I heard was. Uh, it's fine. Was somebody did a, a fried green tomato in place of bacon. So if you want to do like a, a more vegetarian. vegetarian option. Yeah. Um, but I do have to give a shout out. My friend has a lemon tree, and these all came off of her lemon tree, and uh, they are delicious. Here so, in Utah? Brie. No, they're in Vegas. Okay. I'm like, lemon, or lemons are not growing here. Thanks for the lemons, Brie. But I did steal his bacon. <laughs> he didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's just the perfect little piece. Well. So that's it. That's what we have for today. But we're going to have Shane sing one more time. Oh, man. I'm going to make him do it. So everyone... Give us some likes and love and share this with your friends so they can see this beautiful song. And if you want to get this step-by-step -step or save these ingredients, you can share it to your page and that way you don't have to scroll through and find it again. And yeah, you're getting tons of hearts and love. Oh, Are you going to sing Son of a Biscuit? <laughs> hey Vince, love it. Okay, here we go. I just ate some food, you know, a little bit of... <clears throat> Just let me, let me swallow that last bite. Talk about your mom. Oh, can I just tell you, I have the best mom in the world, and I know that's super cheesy, but she raised us, single mom status. Mm -hmm. She did everything for us, she worked three jobs. My mom, like, can do no wrong in my book. She is um, the kindest, most giving, loving person um, that I know and I'm super grateful for her love and example in my life because um, she She just changed my world like my, my life wouldn't be the same without her. So I just love my mama. Love you mom For tuning in you guys I hope you all give your mom lots of love this Sunday and show her how much you she means to you because I have an incredible mom too and it just you don't even understand or realize the sacrifice a mother gives until you become one in my opinion I didn't understand all those late nights that she had that I can't even remember because it's when you're just tiny and they just Mothers are angels on this earth. So thank you for tuning in with us. We'd love it if you tuned in with us again. We will be live again next week at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And please like our pages, My mm -hmm. Mommy Style and It's Whore Locker. Yep. And this has been the Walker and Whore Locker show, or Walker and Whore Locker, whichever way you want to say it. It's fine. And look at all that love. Yeah. Oh. Happy Mother's Day. Love you guys. Thank you.